The main functions of the cerebellum have to do with balance, motor coordination, and the control and monitoring of intentional movements. The cerebellum occupies most of the posterior cranial fossa. The tentorium is just above it. To see the cerebellum better, we'll look at it by itself. The surface of the cerebellum is marked by many parallel fissures, some deeper than others. This deep primary fissure divides the cerebellum into a small anterior lobe and a large posterior lobe. A deep groove on the underside partially divides the cerebellum into two hemispheres. These are joined by this midline mass, the vermis, which extends all the way around from the top to the underside. Here are the divided cerebellar peduncles, the superior one from the midbrain, the inferior one from the medulla, and the middle one. As we've seen, the middle cerebellar peduncle becomes continuous with the pons. This cavity in the anterior aspect of the cerebellum is the most posterior part of the roof of the fourth ventricle. That's this part in the model.